Well, I think that was very good. That last five minutes was outstanding because the judge essentially conceded that the statute of limitations that uh, we won at the Court of Appeals is in effect. Therefore, about 80 percent of the case is over. Uh, I was going to come out and say that, as you know, we're not entitled to a jury, which is pretty unusual in the United States of America. So uh, you think it's very unfair that I don't have a jury. But uh, the judge's last statement was very fair. And if I read it right, I'll let perhaps one of the lawyers speak to it. But Cliff, maybe you'll speak to it, if you would. But uh, the way I interpret that, and the way everyone else in the room seems to interpret that, is that the statute of limitations uh, is a very real thing in this country. And that would be about 80 percent of this case would be over. Uh, could somebody speak to that, please? Cliff, you want to talk about that? Sure. So, so based on the judge's comments, and, based on the judge's comments at the end of the hearing, at the end of the trial today, it would appear that he is agreeing that all transactions that closed prior to 2014 are now out of the case. Which is about 80 percent of the case. And it's also uh, something that we won on appeal, but was not accepted by this court, but now seems to be accepted by this court. Uh, as far as the jury is concerned, uh, it's much different now, I must tell you, than it was 20 minutes ago. But we were going to come out and complain that, you know, in this country, you're entitled to a jury. But we very much appreciate the judge's decision today, or his statement today, on statute of limitations, which is a very big thing. It's a limited time period. And we did nothing wrong. And if you look at the statements, they showed that even in 2011, I guess the number was $258 million in cash, a uh, very strong company. I don't believe we really, maybe I wouldn't do a couple of deals or something, but I wouldn't have even needed to go to banks. Banks loved our business, they loved our deals, they weren't defrauded, they lost no money, they made money, they had the finest attorneys that there are. Frankly, their attorneys were better than my attorneys. And uh, they made a lot of money, and they considered me a very good client. I paid them back on time, on schedule. There was no default. They never even sent me a default letter. Not one, for years, never got a default letter. And there's no case here. There's no victim. The banks aren't a victim. The insurance companies are a victim. Everybody got paid. It's a terrible, terrible thing. This was for politics. Now, it has been very successful for them because they took me off the campaign trail. Because I've been sitting in a courthouse all day long, instead of being in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, or a lot of other places I could be at. This is a horrible situation for our country. It's never happened before. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.